you go. You look like Citrus and Gene Kelly in Singing in the Rain. Mia, what did you make of that routine? I think it was very great old Hollywood elegance, um, which I love. I love that period. It was just so gorgeous. And um, Matt, I, I think you're fantastic. I, um, you do. <laughs> I know that. I know that Nigel talks about you not like it, there's no personality in this and that. I, I feel like you really stepped up this week with this, and you and you had a little pizzazz going in your face, and you're just so refined and you're so elegant. And and you know what? I love yes. you. Um, <laughs> um, Courtney, I um, I feel like. The only time that you show strength is when your leg is in the air. You love to, you're, you love your devil pays, you love your batmas because you know that that's a strong part of you. You're very comfortable with that. I feel like you haven't owned your size and length yet. And so I feel like that's something you really, really need to work on. Um, it's Thank lacking you. for me and it lacked for me last week and it's lacking for me this week. But as a whole, I thought the piece was lovely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Mary, did you like the piece? I have to say, I just love the choreography. I really do. <laughs> Jump up, Jim right, Ray. Jump up, Jim However, the rest of it is really a mixed bag for me. I thought it started out so strong, very charismatic. Um, you know, when we talk about the two of you, you are such great technically trained dancers. We expect a lot from you. I expect a lot from you. And when you do your spins and your turns and your kicks and leaps, they are absolutely brilliant. But the footwork as you did passing twinkles was not close at all. Like when you did the back and forth grapevine action, you could have laid it out there, Matt. Like, you, I know you can. And it didn't happen. There's some issues in there that I didn't expect to see from the two of you tonight. So I'm left sitting here just slightly disappointed. Thank you. Oh. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> Nigel, well, did I, you love it? I'm or not disappointed, disappointed at all. I'm not Thank disappointed. You are very, very strong, Matt. Very strong to be able to lift like that. Because Thank you. I, yeah, no. <laughs> but you're a tall girl, uh, and, and you've got to be strong to be able to lift you. And and that strength is there, and it looks great when you partner each other. What what why I'm trying to get the point across is, you're very soft in your arms sometimes, and it doesn't work for me. It doesn't get there. It doesn't get there strongly enough. It's a bit twee to be honest with you. And you must stop that, because you've got to keep that strength, especially when you're partnering somebody uh, uh, as tall as you are. The other thing for me is, there was a bit of a fake performance in certain areas from the pair of you. And when I say fake performance, there's a veneer that you put on where you pull a funny little face, you'll take a pose and they go, huh. Is it, <laughs> like that. Oh, it's horrible. It's not feeling the whole thing. And I know you don't have a lot of time to get used to this, but you've got to learn where to breathe. You've got to learn where the performance is going to happen. And you've got to learn to control it all the way through the dance so that it's honest. Because the minute we feel as though it's a dishonest performance, we are not going to enjoy it as much. Mm -hmm. Having said all of that, I will now say I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, dial 1 888 Tempo 04. That's 1 888 Don't know where that came from, but he did it in rehearsals. Do it again.